Hello everyone, welcome to our new series taken over from the recent Testing Tuesdays videos that we've sent out, which got a lot of views and a lot of traction. Thank you all very much for uh, taking the time to watch them. Our next set of videos and next series coming out um, is going to be based around the seven SELC phases that we have broken it down. Um, and it's going to be under the DevOps Digest um, sort of heading. And leading into sort of more away from testing, obviously including testing, but leading to more of some of the high level areas, some of the high level phases um, that are required around uh, in a DevOps organization. Now DevOps is a process, DevOps isn't a thing. Um, DevOps is a, is a process, it's a mindset. Um, so we're gonna try and, try and help you to understand what's required to consider your organization and your teams uh, to be following DevOps best practices. Uh, and we're gonna try to make it less technical, easy bite-sized chunks. Uh, and today is about a high level overview of what those uh, DevOps practices and phases are gonna be. So uh, the seven areas are plan, track, code, build, test, deploy, and monitor. And essentially in the old days, um, we would regard this as a waterfall method. You go from one to the other, completing each phase uh, before having to go back to the beginning if you need to start again. And, and that is essentially how uh, every organization develops software. And it's still how people develop software now because that's the, the easiest way of doing these large projects. Um, and it's how organizations have managed to kick out their software without any issues and that, that's, that's perfectly fine. And some of the tools and practices we'll talk about over the next series will also include waterfall methods. Uh, we then obviously led into the Agile methods, which was basically trying to break these chunks down and, and we understand that there is a lot more to software development than just these seven, but we're trying to simplify things. But Agile methodology was trying to break down the waterfall methodology into smaller chunks. You fail quicker, try and get that testing done as soon as you can. And you know, you'd sort of have a smaller teams that could kick out a lot of sort of smaller, minimal viable products. Um, and now, uh, you know, the buzzword is DevOps and it's shift left and it's test first and all of those wonderful uh, buzzwords that are in the industry that we all know and love. Now what DevOps is trying to do is to blur the lines a little bit, to automate as much of this as possible and to give you a clear understanding of the phases, the people in the phases and the actions that each phase needs to include. Now, we know there's a lot more and there are hundreds if not thousands of tools that can help you in different areas and we're going to try and talk about some tools over the series um, that integrate really well with each other. And not only integrate but can help to automate many of these areas. You will never be 100% automated which you know, we understand to be safe. Uh, we're also going to talk about some security areas, we're going to talk about some of the um, some of the issues that organizations have had over the last couple of years around security, so we're gonna mention that with GDPR coming up, very important subject. Um, so yeah, so just to give a real quick, some of the people that are involved in these uh, areas, you've got product owner, business analyst, so the customer involved, the project manager. Obviously project manager would sort of be on top of most of these areas. Um, when it comes to tracking, it is all about uh, facilitating that collaboration between the developers, the stakeholders, the testers. BDD, another buzzword, something else that we'll be touching on later and my colleague Lewis went into a, a very good BDD video that you can see on our YouTube channel. Um, and then you've got designers and they're involved in some of the actions that come in with the designers and the developers. The UX and UI are very important when it comes to building. Testers, so you've got your QA, developers should still be involved. Developers have that blurred line between being the sort of first line testers now. And then how you deploy and how you monitor and some of the best practices and some of the things that you need to be doing in there. So, over the next few weeks we'll be releasing different videos talking about different areas. We have got a, a, a plethora of experts um, who can give you a really good understanding um, you know, in, in each of these areas as well. And we can do introductions to those guys. Um, and a whole bouquet of ideas where it's going to be you know, we can make some recommendations around tools, we can make some recommendations around bringing those tools together and integrating all those tools. Um, so yeah, so please join us over the next couple of weeks. If you have any questions, uh, there's plenty of links around these videos when they get released or contact us here at Clear Vision. Uh, there's myself and Lewis in the team here and we've also got 
a lot of the consultants who are sort of leading thought leaders in the area. So yeah, feel free to come join us soon. Thank you for taking the time to listen.